Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I've already put down my base coat of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And uh, let's go over my paints and then I'll tell you what I'm going to do today. My first paint is Master's Touch Lake Blue. My next paint is the Amsterdam Reflex Rose. Very pretty, bright pink color. My next color is Arteza Pearl Rose. That's a lighter rose color. My next paint is Amsterdam Permanent Green Light. My next paint is the Amsterdam Their Expert line, and this is the Permanent Orange. And my last paint is the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents, and I'm using the Glacier Blue. Now, this is the challenge colors for, of the week from Tish from uh, the Artist's Haven. And what I chose to do with these colors, and let me show you um, consistency here. A little bit on the thicker side. What I'm going to do is just puddle pours all over the paint, all over the canvas, and then I'm going to use my chains and do a chain pull. Uh, this is a real simple painting, fun to do with kids, and I'm going to start my puddles, and then what I'm going to do is turn the camera off, finish my puddles, and then I'll bring you back because I don't think you have to watch all this puddle making. I'll just do a few here so you can just see what I mean. I'll do one color and then I'll put colors on top. And I'm going to do that all over the canvas. So I'll bring you back here in just a few minutes after I get all my puddles down and before I start my tipping. And I'll, I want to say to my pouring medium today is I went back to my old pouring medium of two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt of GAC 800, and just a little dab of the Liquitex pouring medium. And I did not use any silicone today. I did water my paints down just a little bit, not much at all, because I did want them to be able to um, keep the layered look here. So I'll bring you back in a few minutes and then we'll get to tipping. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have all my uh, All my puddles put down here and it looks so colorful I almost wish I could leave it like this but uh, there's too much paint on here so uh, first thing we're going to do is tip do some tipping here so and I hope you can see most of this just gonna try and run some of the paint into each other like I said this is a real simple type pour that if you're looking to do something with your kids. Just incorporating that paint here and there. I get some off the edge. I 
and run some down this way. That Reflex Rose is really, really a pretty color. So bright, vibrant. Along with the orange. Again, this is a these are challenge colors from Tish at the Artist Haven. I will put the name of her channel in my description. If you get a chance, check out Tish's channel. She goes live five days a week. A lot of fun things going on on her channel. I think I'll bring it down this way and bring it over the edge and that'll be about it. And then I'll start running my chains through it. Okay. That looks pretty too. Just gonna check my sides here. And I will work with those off camera. Let's give it a quick torch before I start with the chains. Okay, this is my favorite size chain, just a small, small chain here. And what I'm going to do is just, no pattern, just run it through. Have some fun with it. can wipe it off in between. And if you widen it, then you'll see I get wider results there. you really open it up, you will get results like that, which I like too. Let's start up here on this corner. You can do this as much as you want or as little as you might want. I'm going to see if I can get some of the like these effects up here in this corner. Maybe down in this area. 
going to clean my chain off a little better. few more and I think I'll be finished. I really do like that effect. It really the, it's, draws the eye to it. Try it in here again. Bring it down here. Very pretty. Let's bring this through here once more. And maybe one more on this edge just to break that up a little bit. And I think that is just right. And give it another torch and then we'll get you down for a close up. You can tell me what you think. A few cells did come up. From that flow trial. And I will work on the edges off camera. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close up. This is the upper left hand corner. Again, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. It's called a puddle pour with chain pull. And those are the uh, effects that I like that I got. Very pretty. Like I said, that reflex rose is just such a pretty color. In here, nice area. We're just going up the middle here. Again, there's another one of those areas. Can see a few cells coming up there. This is the lower right hand corner here, just going up the right hand side. And the upper right hand corner, pretty up in here. 
So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would surely help my channel out. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.